Hi, welcome back to SA, SAB Business Object Processing Framework series. So today we are going to see how we can write the messages in Data Machine. So for example, um, we already model the Data Machine to generate the order ID whenever we save the instance in the uh, whenever we create the new instance in the order. So we want to generate automatically generate the order ID. So we want to throw the message to the UI. So okay, the order is successfully saved. So that's the objective. Let's see how we can implement that. Um, we can let's go and open the uh, business object processing export decode BOBEX, or you can open the class SC24 where you can go and edit the uh, your uh, class directly, the determination class directly. Let me first open the business object transaction to get our classes and our business object node elements root determination order ID and double click on your class and open the execute method. So as we know this method has the signature with the exporting parameters EO message. So if you raise the message or if you add the messages to this particular framework object, so we should be able to throw that messages on the application UI. So let's see how we can use that and how we can populate the messages inside this object. Let's go and edit that class and minimize the signature to the let's open another session um, go to SC24 come back to our class so this is our interface to refer our uh, no, um, to refer our interface definition I'm going to sorry for that I didn't copy it properly so let's copy this control C and put the name here okay so open the parameter so this is a type of this one so to generate the object for this instance so you can see if you go open this particular definition you have a couple of methods which is add add cm add with the exception add message so which is something adds sys message type object so let me see this method probably we can use that okay yes it's providing me option with this importing parameter as s structure so it has my message type message id message number and so what node i want to raise this message and what is the instance we raised it attribute and all that it's an importing value so this is the only is a mandatory information all our optional information so probably we can use this method from this interface so first we have to create the object for this interface to generate the object for that interface so framework will having a factory method so let's say uo underscore message equal to slash bopf cl underscore frwo factory since i know it so i'm just straight away going it if you open uh, let me just finish this first get so if you open if you see this class this factory class provide you a lot of static methods which will help you to know you know work with the framework easily or you know, whatever the object you want to generate so there are different methods are available so one of the method you can see here is a get message so if you select that and call this method so we should be here we have our object for uh, with the type of the framework interface message interface uh, reference so we generated the data object and now we want to add the message to this 
so how are you cannot so if i have a multiple instance i have to add the message here so let's go on uh, open the object and so i'll call the method add add and you can use control space to get the um, corresponding method let me select the method and then control shift enter so it will allow you to add the signature like this so we need the this structure and so for that we need to have a variable defined for it let me define a message variable data lv ls message type so we don't know exactly what is the type of it we'll check here so it is a sysmg okay or maybe you can open this parameter yes you can take it from here and come back to our class finish our variable so let me pass this to my method and i want to define the method to be attached to this particular node as well as particular instance and specific to attribute so i will pass this information but i don't want to pass a lifetime so let me leave that and so let's pass this node so we know that this is the node key which is my order root node and this is the instance where we are updating the order id so i'll just pass this information and so this one is a string so we know that this is order id field we can capture it here okay so we pass the message now we want to fill the information on this structure i don't want to fill it inside the loop we can do that but i just want to put it here before the loop to set some value msg id you have to populate some message number there and then msg number and then you have a message type the message type is basically success you can put it like this okay this message and then you want to have the message id okay so here we want to pass the, the order number um so we now we have to populate you now some messages from our uh, whatever you defined it from your se91 where the message class and message id i don't want to define new messages let me try to you know get some messages from the standard one which is aligning my you know uh, requirements so i'll just go here se16 put it slash n and i'll put the message text start with saved star successfully Sorry. and so i want to have some kind of variable to be passed before so i'll just pass this just trying out to get some messages like this yeah there are a lot of messages are available with that format let me pick something here like this so it's a standard one which is pretty much is aligning with me and i just use this as per your project standard you should be able to define something so here i have a two variable which can be passed so i want to set the message like this um i'll put it like uh, order id uh, then the number for the hyphen zero 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 one saved so this is a message i want to build it so this is one of my variable and this is my number which i'm generating here so i'll just go with that copy this i populate it text which i'm putting it and so we populated already all the record parameter let me populate the order number here with to the second variable message variable uh, 
so the message is been populated now so pretty much with the message id object is created message information populated and this being set and then we call the message here and populated into the framework object so uh, okay so if we are in the loop so obviously i want to reset this value every time so i don't want to go with that i'll just put it clear okay so now my implementation to add a message to the framework object when we do the save via the determination so we added that and saved it okay let's go back and test our business object in the next session thank you